Uh, hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this uh, short lesson, I want to show you how you can make a parametric bridge uh, from a curve. So if I just uh, disable this cluster and turn on the curve, you can see this is going to be the base curve. And if you use the cluster, you can see that you have an offset, which is going to be the offset we have on the deck. The side, if you want to offset it inwards or outwards. Uh, there is also an H1, which is going to be the height from the bottom which you can control for the uh, tower. The total height, which is going to be from this point to this point. So you can also control that total height here. Uh, the tower location, which you can just move it around from the start of the uh, curve to the end of the curve, which is in the middle of the uh, surface of the deck. And then uh, for the start and the end cable, you can say if it's a zero to one, it's going to be the complete uh, overall of the deck, but you can also give that a little bit of an offset from the start and the end and then the number of uh, cables you have here. Uh, at the end you will ha have uh, the deck as a surface which you can use. Uh, for the tower you have the curve which is you can just give that a pipe. Uh, for the cables you have the line and for the cable curve you just you can see the boundary so uh, if you install the human plugin uh, we have give that a little bit of a material if you want to just check that out uh, for example if you want to uh, see that just go to here you can see this is the tower and in the texture file just right click here and set one existing file uh, you can see that for the tower we have this texture so we can give that to here uh, another thing that we have to do is uh, to go to here and see the cables. So I'm going to texture file, set one existing file and give the cables. And for the deck, set one existing file. And uh, you can use two deck files because this one is just like a single line and this is more dashed line. So based on your project, you can just select one of these and then you can go to the texture and hit the true button. Uh, as you can see here, you can uh, convert that into a complete parametric bridge. Uh, for example, for each of these, for the tower, you can see that we have a number of UV divisions for the texture, so you can just play around with that. Uh, for the deck, you can see that how simple I, it is to increase the number of lanes, so you can start with two lanes, uh, I can go with four, uh, and also if I want to, I can change the number of divisions. Uh, okay, let's uh, take a look at the algorithm.